Hello, everyone, and welcome back. The OGGO here, Greg Osman, with another episode, episode three, Career Mode NASCAR Heat 4. We've made it through two hot seat races so far. We finished fifth in our first one, finished 11th in our second one. Didn't do too great on that second one. Let's see where we are moving forward with our next hot seat ride in the Extreme Dirt Tour. Next race up, Texas. Short track, their true timber camo 100. Let's see if we've got an offer for this race. <phone rings> offer received. Yes, that's what I like to see. We could use your help driving the number 20 car at Texas this Wednesday. Get a top 10 finish. And we might consider working with you in the future for Gear Hawk Motorsports. That is a great name. A four-star team. Let's go race right now. All right, the true Timber Camel 100 at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track. Let's get cracking here. Prac oh, we're in a, ooh, it's a pink car again. Man, what is it with these pink cars? <coughs> this car has run up front quite a bit, so I'm excited for this one. Practice goal time, 16.563. I've got my custom qualifying setup, which is where I put this setup on last time. Um, I don't think I have a custom race setup set up in here. I do not, so. Um, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to change this again. I don't know why it keeps changing that. Um, let's go here. Get rid of the sway bar. And let's go see if we can beat that uh, qualifying time. That practice. Uh, here. I know this is a fast one. Previous one. Has beat us both times. So uh, definitely a fast Pressure is on for us to, to do well right now. I mean, we're, we're already getting through these corners pretty, pretty well. Let's see where we are from the RPM. Running well. Great lap. Was a 16, 16, 17. Close. back to the garage see what we can take here we didn't hit that goal at all so we we're definitely not happy with that so let's see what we can do here um i'm wedge just all the way down already so let's let's bump this up to 15 pounds in the right for here and then the right let's just try that for now I don't want to throw the kitchen sink in there. Let's try that one. Definitely not, not working the way I want it to. So let's let's see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna bump up this to that 248, which is what we had last race, and try that. Let's gonna stiffen up the right here.
four seventy five. Head back to the garage right now. So we beat, uh, beat that goal time quite a few times. We're gonna go here. And let's go here. We're gonna run just a few laps. So let's go qualify now. All right. Pole is a 15.291, which is not far off from where our uh, fastest pra practice lap was. So we might be able to get a decent, uh, decent starting spot here the dirt track. Sixteen two two zero. Ooh. Mm. Didn't hit the goal of sixteen zero eight two, which is unfortunate. We did out qualify Tony Stewart. I'm very happy with that. Um, Caleb Stevenson with a fifteen two nine one. Man. Mm. So we'll be rolling off eleventh. So it looks like someone in front of us had to drop to the back. Our goal here is a 10th place finish. The True Timber Camo 100, the dirt track at Texas Motor Speedway. Let's get to it. Caleb Stevenson claims the fastest qualifying time. He's on the pole. Todd Laguerre crashed during qualifying. So he went to the back with a backup car. 
and Scott Haig gave up qualifying position for new tires. He's starting at the back as well. The True Timber Camo 100, the dirt track at Texas Motor Speedway. Let's go. Right to the green, driver. Almost ready. Three down, let's go. Hold your line, got one outside. All right, clear outside. Man, Tony Stewart is flying. We're gonna all over there. I'm running up to the bottom. We're gonna stay true to the bottom. We see people pass here. We're doing pretty well so far. We're already up to fifth. Look at that. Fifth place within two laps. Man, we started 11th, was it? Yeah, oh, and we're passing John Ackerman here. Ooh. I think we can get by John Ackerman here. Everybody else goes to the top. We got by Ackerman here. Got by Cody Duff. We're up in third. Man, this is the best we've ever run so far. I am stoked. Evan Ratner sitting in second place in the 98 car. He's up on the top. I think we got by him as well. You know what? I think we need to try it on the top. You know what? No. We're going to catch Anthony Norton up here. He's about a second and a half ahead of us. And see if we can grab the lead. And then... See, see what we can do with it. I think we're running some pretty good lap times here so far. Consistency is the big thing. I think Tony, yeah, Tony Stewart's running yeah, behind me. He job. started right behind me as well. So he's got a full cool. I mean, definitely love the race for his team at some point in the future. That's, that's everything. So sure. um, we are. We've reeled in Anthony Norton here. So he's gotten slowed up with some lap with the half car. Oh man, we're real close. But Tony Stewart's also breathing down our neck. Oh man, this is this is a great race so far. We're not even ten laps into it. Oh, Tony Stewart got into us. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. We might have to might have to use a chrome horn on the front end of the car to fix that. But we we got by Norton. Uh, Todd Laguerre got by us as well. Man, Tony Stewart is punted us out of. Way. Not happy with that outside, at all. Outside. Gonna lay in the toddler gear a little bit there, but he got nice as well. I think with everybody so spread out in the corner, top side, bottom side, uh, it's gonna make for some good racing, especially when we're in the deep We are running third right now. We were running second. We we're ready to pass the game for the home so out. Uh, well, he didn't spin us out. He, he put the bump into us pretty hard. Todd LeGarrett is, is laying it on him real quick right now. Uh, I don't know if that car fast enough to catch those guys, uh, but we are running third right now. The goal was a top 10. Uh, happy with how things are going so far. Uh, we just got to make sure we hold on to, to what we have. Anthony Morgan starts closing that one is the third All right, you're clear. He was the early leader. He gets by us for third. Oh, hmm. We just need, we need to settle in and recover from that, that unfortunate incident and incident now race later. Uh, oh no, Todd Laguerre just got by. Let's just, uh, as, I, as I like to say, let's tick off some laps here and just, just kind of drift through a little bit. A little too good. Man, they just fly. Hoping they'd slow him up a little bit. Doesn't look like the case. But a fourth place would be a test. So good. He's gained a second Didn't even 
see what's in there. We're just gonna keep going all the way. Careful, still there. And what happens? The outside, outside, all clear. Outside, outside, all clear. Thirty-one laps. Was it? Was Todd crashed his car? Man, that is. And he was half a lap ahead of me. I'm in fourth place. Fourth place, and the leader has about half a lap, which is unheard of in real life. Possible, but it is uh, 28 Picking them up and putting them down is Thank you. 
place but It's not going to make any difference. Apologize to him for the Schneider did pick up the All outside. Hold your line. All clear. Two seconds. Finishing position, our best finishing position in the late night so far. Our best in our fifth place that we had in our first race. Uh, so let's take a look here at the full race results. All right, race results. I was the last, uh, the first car to lap down. Top three cars finished on the lead lap. Tony Stewart finished third. So Anthony Morton got by him uh, pretty quickly to me. He invested in him over seven seconds, but Todd Laguerre had a 10 second, almost 10 second. So, uh, definitely the class of the field uh, for this race at the Dirt Track at Texas Motor Speedway. We got our fourth place finish. Again, not that point standings really matter for us, but we're, we're not last. <laughs> Anthony Norton had the fastest lap of the race. That is not surprising at all. I'm not sure if that's right, though. 10.60, 10 point. 602. Todd Laguerre leads 38 laps. Started 23rd, finished first. First again, class of the field. Greg Willis started seventh and finished 21st. That is a that is a tough break. That is a is a very tough break. So we'll go ahead and leave the track here. Check out what our uh, results are from this race from a, from a money and a fan perspective, uh, and, and and see where we are uh, moving forward. All right, hot seat summary. Finished fourth in the True Timber Camo 100 at the dirt track at Texas Motor Speedway. We beat the hot seat goal of a top 10. Got us 625 bucks for that. And we got five new fans, which is always a plus. Nice job with that top 10 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next season from Gear Hawk Motorsports. And that pink number 20. Caleb Stevenson says, you've made some impressive progress with all those hot seats you've been doing. Can't wait to see what team picks you up next year. Tough choices. Or hashtag tough choices. Exactly, Caleb. So 
that will do it for today. Um, oh wait, hold on. What's our uh, what's our agent got to say? I know the season just ended, but it's never too early to start planning for next year. Oh, you're right, Warren. It is never too early to start planning for next season. So next season preparation. So uh, I think the playoffs started. Uh, there's no hot seat offers during the playoffs. So that will do it for this episode. Join us next time as we uh, prepare for the next season of the Extreme Dirt Tour. See if we'll be able to get a full time ride with somebody and uh, you know see what see what that uh, looks like for us. So thank you again for joining us. I am the OGGO Greg Osman. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel to follow along with all of our career uh, mode through NASCAR Heat Four. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,